Control Center UI changes is a combination video for smaller features in the Control Center UI that don't have their own video. So here we are, and I've, uh, I'm already running DCS because it takes too long to start. Um, so we're seeing some viewports here that we configured in the previous um, videos. Uh, let's bring up Control Center. You'll see the eagle-eyed viewer will tell this is Helios dev, which is that uh, means I'm working with a development build, but normally this would be the Helios folder. So uh, we start Control Center and we get to uh, gaze upon this wonderful splash screen for four seconds, which is great if you're wondering uh, about us who you know created Helios and all that, but it's pretty annoying after the hundredth time or so. Um, so there's a new feature, uh, turn off the splash screen in the preferences panel right here. So after your, that change, um, it starts four seconds faster, which if you're following along at home, leaves you with a startup time of zero seconds because the entire four seconds previously was the splash screen. Okay, um, so that's feature one. Let's run uh, DCS so we can see some other features. Okay, um, showing the DCS screen here in the corner so the video doesn't become gigantic. But um, I'm, gonna, I'm running the A10, so maybe I should start with that interface. Too many test interfaces. Um, I have a caution. Yep, those are the images that we saw in a previous video that are missing images in this profile. So I will ignore this caution and click it away. Okay, so now uh, I have the profile running. Um, and the first new feature we see is that uh, Helios Control Center here is telling us that the simulator is an A10 and the simulator is running Captain Zine Module 1. And those two pieces of information to us uh, together tell us, you know, what vehicle are we in? and what, uh, which export module format, as discussed in a previous video, has been selected by this, uh, by DCS. So, you know, by the export script, I mean. Uh, you know, it, using that information, you can, you know, you can basically tell if things are out of sync. Like, if you're using a Captain Zine um, module profile and it keeps saying that it's running the driver, then, you know, there's probably something wrong with the install and you probably disabled your pre-flight check. If your pre-flight check was enabled, then it wouldn't have let you launch in such a situation. Um, so anyways, this status display is uh, kind of tells you what's happening and these messages are also copied into the console so that if you share your status with anybody, that will um, it, uh, that information will be included also and that's helpful. Okay, uh, something I can't show right now um, is that if a uh, new feature number three, if an export script uh, hits a significant error condition, it will send an error message to Control Center. You will actually get a message in this display and also in the console uh, and in the log that is a message from the export script itself. So uh, previously, if you had an export failure, you could sometimes see something in DCS log, but you, you, know, you weren't basically alerted to it. So that's new. And then finally, and uh, I didn't practice this, so I'm kind of hoping that works, is if you switch seats. Um, so we're here in a practice mission and it has multiple seats. I'm gonna switch to an F-18. Um, what will happen is it will tell us we're in an F-18 and because again, there's some missing images and some Lua errors, these are all because I'm working with uh, uh, legacy versions or copies of these profiles that um, bugs were still you know, working out uh, in the profiles themselves for release. Um, so again, that can be ignored because it's working fine. So, uh, but basically what happened was the uh, DCS told C Control Center, uh, we're now in a Hornet. And because in the preferences, I have profile auto start enabled, which is on by default. 
um, it automatically loaded the last profile that I used for that aircraft type. So um, if you remember from an early video, we configured this profile to be an A10 that, that pretends to be an F18 because of how the modules are. That's where that information is used. It's so that we know that this is really an F18 and that we can select it when the uh, when DCS signals that we are in an F18. Okay, so if you don't like that, then you know just turn off profile auto start and it won't it won't start the profiles for you. Uh, personally, I like it because I like to hop to different uh, different aircraft and multiplayer servers. So, okay, so that's that and that's that status. I mean, there's some mi minor things. Uh, the preferences panel was restyled. This feature, which people still don't know how to use, is only a workaround uh, bug fix. I should just mention that real quick in passing. If you're one of the people who has the double click problems where every time you touch your touch screen, it seems to click twice and you've already disabled your right mouse button emulation in Windows, then this is sort of an override. And you can turn that on and then move the slider to the right until the problem goes away. Oh, that's funny. Look, the UI is being dragged by a slider. That's not supposed to happen. We should fix that. Okay, um, let's turn that off. We don't need that. And then uh, this is a tiny little feature, uh, high quality bitmaps. Um, if you have a profile usually that you made yourself and um, the bitmaps aren't an appropriate size, like they're really like way too small or too too large for where they're used and when they're being stretched they look all either blurry or very noisy you can turn this on and it'll use a little bit more CPU p uh, power and in return give you a higher quality um, stretching you know interpolation of the bitmaps um, it does require a control center restart so after you set that you just close control center and start it again uh, all the other options um, Start at login, start minimize, hide on profile, start. These are all already uh, existed in 1.4. Um, let's see, anything else we're missing? We talked about the console, we talked about profiles, preferences. Uh, we'll get, yep, that's it.